Hey everyone, Totally Dubbed here, and this is a quick guide on how to um, basically uh, get a custom ROM. Uh, at the moment, I'm putting Darkey's custom ROM because he's got a nice guide over here. Um, so basically, if you're on a Voodoo lag fix or anything, or a, um, a speed mod kernel, you want to disable that. Um, if you're not, for example, I um, reflashed and I went to stock JPY and I wiped everything off my phone. Um, so I was just going on a clean install like I just got it from my carrier. And so first of all I'm flashing the base ROM. So you want to open Odin up. Um, I'll link you um, to two files. Um, one of them is Darkies 9.4 um, now um, file a zip file and the other one is 9.2 file. So once you get the 9.2 file what you want to do is extract it um, and once you extract it it will look something like that and you can open it and you can open Odin. Um, once you open Odin up it will look exactly like this and once you open Odin up what you want to do is tick repartition you want to tick PIT then go into the folder that you know you uh, extracted, and here you see you, you'll see a PIT file, um, and then you'll see PDA. Click on PDA, and then um, again in the same folder you want to go for the MD5 file. Um, so after that's done, well, I'm just waiting for it to be done. So it's passed. There's my phone. After about um, two to five minutes of your phone talking to you. Um, you'll see on the top menu it says reboot now you want to hit that key and that's it so you just want to wait for it to reboot right after a good um, couple of minutes of it saying darkies rom uh, in green um, for about say three three or so minutes um, it comes up with this screen and it's basically the setup screen so I'm just going to go through it and you just basically have to set it up Oh. It remembered my settings for some reason. Oh yeah, because yeah, never mind. <laughs> uh, right now you're on Darkies ROM, so I'm gonna just show you. We're on 9.2 Extreme Edition. However, we're on uh, the basal stock version of it, if that makes sense. So what we want to do is go on to uh, Market and you're gonna have to sign in with your Google account um, if you haven't signed in or uh, if you haven't created one already right once you've uh, signed in next finish setup accept we want to do two things we want to first download clockwork uh, recovery and we want to download darkies rom so oh my apps Darky ROM. Now, the reason why you're doing Darky's ROM is because when you um, flash the other one on, it will basically remember the settings from Darky's ROM configurator, um, and um, it will allow you to customize your ROM. So that's one thing. And then another one you want to put is ROM Manager, um, the free version. You can pay for it if you want, but you know, free version. Uh, let me open up configurator. I'm just trying to think. I don't think I'm rooted. Where am I? Hmm. Right, well let's try that. Select your version. There you go. Backup current ROM. You can back it up if you want, but um, it's kind of pointless for me. But yeah, I'm just gonna see. If it's got any memory of my old one? Not completely wiped. Right. Well, there you go. Right. So that's that done. Uh, flash recovery mod um, 2.5.1.2. Um, and then we're gonna have to go to Darkies ROM configurator which should be 
Okay. Right, uh, you're not going to have to tick this because we already did that through um, Odin. Um, speaking of which, I'll close Odin. Um, right, you can choose your kernel. Uh, voodoo, speed mod, or skip kernel. Uh, you can choose Voodoo um, if you're doing um, 9.4. We're going to Dark Voodoo. Uh, modem, JPY. Um, the new one is JS8, I think. Anyway, and so you can uh, choose your things you want. So I'm going to do Circle Battery Icon. Um, boot Animation you can do as well. But I'm going to leave the one I've got. And that's it. Um, I don't think I need to do anything else. I don't need social apps. Speaking of which, uh, life wipers, yes, it's all thirty, it's all thirty fonts. Yup, right. So then you've done that. So uh, save and exit. And right now we're going to boot into recovery. Hold that down and go. Oh, first of all, completely forgot. Um, you want to go menu settings. Applications, development, USB debugging mode, yep. Right, and then we're going to want to connect our phone. The uh, reason I'm doing this is basically because you want to um, uh, transfer the file across. Um, so that's what we're doing right now. Right, it's connected in. And as soon as I do that, Uh, my internal memory just just came up. I'm just trying to double check if this is the internal memory. Uh, the reason I'm saying that is because there's two. Well, yeah, of course it's gonna be internal memory. I don't even have my ex S uh, my external on. So yeah, that's the internal memory. So you can see everything's there. Um, so what you want to do is download um, any version, shall I say? Uh, here is the nine point. Uh, two, nine, yeah, 9.2 version, which is Resurrection. You can get the 9.3 version if you want. Uh, but the 9. Point, I've got the 9.4 version, I think it is. You can even have the 10. Point, the 10.0 beta. Um, so two things I'm going to put across is one. I'll link you down. Voodoo Stable 5.5.1. Um, and then the 9.4. So I'm going to copy across both things. Whilst I'm at it, I'm also going to copy across some themes. Um, themes, optional, you don't need them. Um, I've showed you in another video how to do that. And then um, Dark Ages ROM, you need to have uh, Voodoo Stable 5.5.1, optional. However, um, the 9.4 version comes with 5.5 already. I've just got the newer 5.5.1 version. It, it was on XDA, so I thought might as well. Um, uh, Christ Revolution is a nice theme, a nice blue theme. And then this is a phone fix um, for the Crisis Revolution. In other words, the icons weren't showing up properly. But that's about it. So um, that's my internal SD, so it's uh, copying across. As soon as it copy ac copies across, there we go. We're going to close that. And we're gonna go back down. Down low. Right. Now we've done that. I'm gonna do that. And you wanna exit debugging mode. Right, so that's done. Now we can go straight into recovery. Um, I'll hold that down and go straight into recovery. You can see it there. Uh, because Dark is ROM. Um, gives us the option to do so so why not go straight into it a little buzzing noise right now hopefully it's nice and uh, clear not blurry and everything try and get focusing right I want to go down into install zip from SD card um, and you can choose a zip from SD card and then over here we've got Darkies 9.4 Extreme Edition go over there 
and install. Right, simple as that. So I'll resume the video when that's oh, yeah, when that's done. It'll take a while. Right, so it just finished. Um, some blue logos just went up and down, and there we go. So now I can also check the Voodoo lag fix if it's enabled or not, and it is. It says enabled, enabled. Yes, yes. We don't need debugging mode. Uh, we can turn that off. Um, but I will do it. Yeah, oh, might as well do it now. Bang! There you go. Debugging. No system lag fix. Yes, uh, lag fix is actually enabled. So go back. Reboot system now. Right, that's the flashing screen that you get um, on 9.4. Just a random 9. Point, yeah, 9.4 glitch, let's say. That's the cool 9.4 boot. The matrix reloaded. That's brilliant. Right, so it's just um, loaded. So I'm waiting until it does all its ex you know, internal, external SD. Well, actually, my external SD is there. <laughs> Didn't think of that. So yeah, um, I'll just double check that we're on Darkies 9.0. Extremely fast as you can see. There you go, 2.2.1 JQ1, 2.6.32.9, Voodoo 5.5, um, JS8, 9.4, Darkies 9.4. So there you go, guys, that's how uh, to add Darkies ROM. Um, that's coming from a stock. <laughs> stock, <laughs> basically stock phone. I completely wiped everything and then re put everything on there. Um, and just to show you the uh, files which are in, so it looks like, and then my files, these are files that are created, and these are the ones I added. Um, and there we go, it's as simple as that. It's beautiful, beautiful ROM. Um, the only thing is, I didn't really like the green theme, so. Um, I usually just uh, change that and uh, put in another a cool blue theme called Crisis Revolution. So I hope you enjoyed that video guys, please do rate, comment, subscribe. Um, and this has been the Noobs Guide by Totally Dubbed. Um, and if you've got any improvements obviously, please do post them. Um, I had battery issues with 9.3 and um, I decided to wipe everything and put 9.4 back on um, simply because I'll just see if there anything will uh, improve, so to speak. Right, see you guys. Bye bye.